things escalated pretty fast in there. Um, okay, let me just take you up to speed. So last night at the party, Mercy Lewis, of course, got totally drunk and naked because that's what Mercy Lewis does. And Tijibu was like, whatever, doing her Tijibu stuff, singing like some Barbados songs or something. I don't know. I think it's French. <laughs> we speak English here, okay? <sighs> anyway, so I grab Betty. Betty grabs Ruth because Ruth's like her friend, whatever. Ruth's a loser. She's a Putnam. So we're all having this like great time and I'm drinking charms to, you know, kill Goody Proctor. Like... <sighs> Nature take its course. And now here's where it gets weird, right? So Ruth is there because her mom, Ann Putnam, told her to go and find out who murdered her like nine sisters or something. I don't know. Like, I think the Putnams might be like a little like loony bins, but I mean, whatever. It's not my business. We're all having this great time. And then bam, my uncle, the Reverend Paris, jumps on and over and catches us. Frack. So this morning, he wakes me up and he's like, all right, come on downstairs. I have to like beat you for dancing because we're Puritans and that's like, you know, against the law and everything because I don't know, God or something, not my business. And then, so I'm like, all right, Betty, come on, let's get up. And Betty's faking being dead in her bed, but she's breathing and moaning. So like, obviously she's not dead. Meanwhile, my Uncle Paris is kind of stupid so he like falls for it and he thinks she's all sick and everything so we have the doctor come over and the doctor's like blah she's sick i don't know whatever and then he's like oh oh weird ruth is also suffering from the same exact thing except it's actually totally different same exact thing my betty is lying in bed doing absolutely nothing except breathing and ruth is up and walking around and has her eyes open but she won't talk to anybody how is that the same exact thing where'd you get your doctorate degree all right, nowhere, we don't have that. So anyway, the whole town's like over in our house, like looking at Betty, cause that's something to look at. Cause like, you know, Jeffree Star's not a thing yet. So they're over there and they're like, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. She's been witched. She's not witched. She's just throwing a fit. Nobody can see it. Well, I mean, Rebecca Nurse can see it, but it's because kind of like Rebecca Nurse is like the only smart person in all of Salem. It's really too bad she's a woman because like, I think if she was a guy, people would listen to her. Like, yeah, but because the whole town came over, guess who else came over? That's right. John Proctor came over and who did he need to see? Your girl. I told him how I was like, hey, babe. Listen, whenever you want to start this up again, I'm free. And he's all like, oh no, I can't I have to be loyal to my wife and children. And I was like, you can sell that potion anywhere you want, but I ain't buying it, sweetheart. And he's like, listen, it never happened. And I was like, oh, no, we ain't playing that game. No, we are not playing that game. It happened and you're done. So anyway, he gets all in a huff and takes off and stupid Giles Corey leaves with him, blah, blah, blah. That guy never shuts up. And so anyway, everybody's all like, oh, blah, blah, blah. It's a witch, it's a witch, it's a witch. And it's like, no, there's no witch. And then I find out my stupid freaking uncle actually sent for Reverend H Hale to come from Beverly to check to see if it is a witch. That guy's like the local witch hunter. If you don't want people to think it's a witch, why did you hire the witch hunter to come and look for a witch? Duh. So then we're all just standing around in my bedroom, by the way, and everybody's screaming, it's a witch, it's a witch, blah, 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 she's bewitched. And now they're looking at me like, hey, who's the witch? And I'm just like, uh, hot potato, I don't know. And they're like, listen, it's a witch. And I'm like, okay, dancing, you would beat the crap out of me for, but if you call me a witch, you're gonna hang me and I'm gonna die. So I really don't want that. So I did the only thing I could think of and I sort of blamed Tichiba. Do I feel bad I blame Tichiba? Yeah, I totally feel bla bad I put all that on Tichiba. Cause like, so Tichiba's background, she's the only enslaved person in our entire village and she has no legal rights whatsoever. So like if they decided that they wanted to murder her, they can just go right ahead and murder her. Um, yeah, and they made it pretty clear they were gonna go right ahead and murder her. It escalated like fast, I mean fast. They were like, here's the rope. It was scary. So Tichiba, at first she's like, no, I'm not a witch. I'm not a witch. How can I be a witch? I'm a Christian woman. <laughs> We're all Christians, <laughs> like whatever. And so she all of a sudden like just starts flipping out and she's just like, oh my God, of course I've talked to the devil. The devil came to try to get me to kill you talking to my uncle. And I was like, gobsmacked. Oh my God. And of course, like 
Not really. Oh, woo, crossing a river. And so they're like, oh my God, blah, 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 which is our real. Then they're like, Tichiba, we know the devil wasn't alone. Who was the devil with though? And that's where she kind of stopped and she was like, oh cry, I don't know. She picked the two like homeless people in our town. Goody Osborne and Goody Good. I mean, Goody, <laughs> they're losers. So no one's gonna even bother with them anyway. So then they all let her off the hook and she's fine. That's when Betty wakes up and starts screaming about how she's like, I saw this person with the devil. I saw that person with the devil. I saw this person not wearing a mask at Safeway, blah, blah, blah. And so then I'm like, Oh my God, everyone's getting attention but me. So then I was like, I wanna feel the light of Jesus and I start confessing to be a witch and all of a sudden everybody's totally into me too. So I kind of liked it. Like it was really good attention. I hope nothing comes from this.